person I'm painting right now is an elder from my congregation. I went to his house to take a photograph for the reference. I'm not even expecting to create a perfect finished painting. The goal here is just to warm up before jumping into the big canvas. After this watercolor sketch, I also did a color study for the portraits and oils. I know my studio looked a bit different in my previous video, um, I had to upgrade to a better desk to fit all my big arches watercolor sheets. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos and Instagram posts where they actually paint a lot of celebrities. I don't even like to paint celebrities because these people are familiar faces that are registered in millions of minds. So even if your portrait of them is a bit off, it's still gonna resemble in some way. Many art students tend to overestimate their level of skills. If they could just paint like a photograph, they think they have achieved something. You can't and shouldn't draw from observation by intuitively judging proportions or by copying photos and then rendering with the values to make it look like three-dimensional. I mean, I don't even blame you for doing that sometimes because you are just influenced by your surrounding. Don't try to impress your neighbors, friends or family. They can give comments such as, wow, it looks like a photograph. Your painting looks so beautiful, so real. Yes, it looks real, but what's the foundation? Ask yourself that question. A portrait doesn't get any better with more details. If you go and study the old masters, it's always these shapes. These simple shapes. Show sure, that's a hair, or that's a book, or anything. It's just two simple strokes. I know there's a lot of realist painters who paint just like a photograph, but hey, they don't copy from the photos. They actually take the photo reference and beneath the realist paintings, there's always these basic principles applied. They construct their paintings, they use composition, they use color theory and things like that. Do you do that? If you do that, it's fine, you can paint from a photograph, but if you don't do that and you just simply copy from it, then 
think about that. The painting that you are about to do has to have some sort of meaning. You can't just copy a photo just for the sake of drawing it realistically. No. For instance, I could have just jumped right into the oil painting. Yes, I took the photograph by myself, but doesn't mean you have to copy it just like that. I stepped away from my easel as much as I can. I know you don't do that, but really it's important to leave your painting. Because the painting that you're doing is fixed in your head, so you can't really say if you go wrong with your proportions or your values. Maybe you put down a wrong brush stroke. So yes, create yourself a 50 reason to leave your painting and then come back and you'll see what you have done, where you have gone wrong. And maybe you'll still have enough time to correct that mistake before it's too late. Every portrait or a painting that you do is a learning. Don't expect masterpiece, alright? Art is a never-ending work in progress. Even the professional artists today learn something new in every painting that they do. And don't be scared to make mistakes. Only if you make mistakes, you can learn from it. If you don't make mistakes, you can never learn. Look, listen, this is the most valuable and important thing I've ever learned. You are painting a painting, not a photograph. You have a camera for that. Think about that.